What's up everybody? Fierce Pete. So, just got back from the gym and uh, a lot of people like to showcase their post-workout meals and uh, talk about them. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you guys exactly my meal that I'm doing post-workout right now. It's very simple and a lot of people don't just over analyze everything, you know, and keep things very simple. So I, um, and this is meals that you can make quickly. And that's, that's the key, that's the key. I think a lot of people, they, they come home and they start cooking from scratch and stuff like that and they think that, that that's why it becomes almost impossible to, to make meals, healthy meals on a regular basis. So um, what, you, what you wanna do is called meal prep. I've done a video about it. I'll even link, leave a link about it in the description so you guys can see more about meal prep, uh, how I go about doing it. Uh, I did it during the Fury 60 and it's very, very crucial. Uh, when I sell uh, my Fury 60 cutting program and even my bulking programs, I, I talk about the fact that you need to do meal prep in order to succeed in the programs because otherwise you are going to fall behind. You'll come home and you'll be like, ah, I don't feel like cooking. I'll just make some, I'll have a protein bar or, or I'll just have something small. And you'll actually fall behind on calories or the type of macros that you are taking in as a result. So you want to make sure that you, you stay on meal prep for the most part, you know, you don't really want to fall behind on that. You want to do it. And that means having pre-cooked stuff in your fridge. And when you have pre-cooked stuff like chicken, uh, fish, uh, other kind of proteins, then you are ready to go. I'm not saying you have to pre-cook eggs. Sometimes you want to hard boil, have some hard boiled eggs ready to go. But other than that, you don't really want to, um, you know, you want to make sure something is, most things are pre-cooked. Now, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, um, I think most of those meals don't really need to be pre-cooked. Most of those foods don't need to be pre-cooked. I'm sure there's some things that need to be, but, uh, not being a vegan, I don't know all the foods that you guys would be eating, but maybe there's some free, uh, pre-cooked meals that you could be eating. But that being said, I'm gonna explain exactly what I have here, which is a little bit of rice. And this was actually quick rice. I, I prefer actually to cook my own rice. Uh, this is oriental style rice. Uh, reason being, I like to cook my own rice usually. Uh, today's one of those days where just haven't had time. Um, I guess that's not an excuse. I should have pre-cooked rice, but I had pre-cooked chicken um, in a container ready to go. So I, I measured out a little bit of, I, I like eyeball measure it. So eyeball measure some chicken, uh, got some rice. Uh, this will be about a cup, cup and a half, about a cup, I would say, maybe a little bit more. I don't exactly measure, like I said. Um, and the reason, like I said, I like to have rice uh, cooked by me normally just so I can control the amount of sodium and everything else that goes into it And then I actually have a pickle and there's sodium and then you might be wondering why am I doing this post-workout? Why my pickles have too much sodium? Post-workout Electrolytes my friends Electrolytes, that's why I incorporate them. Uh, I love pickles, but obviously you don't want to eat too many one You eat too many diarrhea Two, obviously too much sodium, so that's no good for you either. So uh, I like to incorporate the, some kind of salty food. Uh, the rice uh, probably already has a little bit, but I like to incorporate a little bit. I truly do feel better. Uh, you know, you have Gatorade and things like that. Those kind of drinks have sodium inside, electrolytes. So you replenish them within your body because you deplete them as you are training, as you are exerting yourself, you're exerting your body through physical exercise. So I like to have this, so a little bit of pickle in Pete's mouth. And there you go. Now you guys can make a joke. I'm waiting for the joke. All right, that's my meal. Very, very straightforward. It's so, so simple, um, but it's all about having that food pre-cooked in your fridge, ready to go. That's what it's all about. So if you don't have that, then you can obviously fall behind and not get the meal that you want in right away when you need it. It takes too long to cook, or you become too lazy, too tired, and you pass out. Love you guys, thank you very much for a daily support. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course get laid.